Again, my Android friends, welcome to another episode of The Mandroid Show. Thank you to The Flash for doing that little Mandroid intro. So I appreciate that intro. We got a couple more that we'll be showing on uh, later shows. So for those of you that did a Mandroid intro, you will soon see it. And I love you. Anyways, guys, thank you for clicking in once again. Now let's talk some Android. Chrome is finally available for our Android devices. Yay, all Android phones! Well, not quite. <laughs> What? Yeah, it turns out you have to have some ice cream sandwich on your device. <laughs> fantastic. Gingerbread. Yes, Chrome Beta is available in the market, but you must be rocking some of that ice cream sandwich on your phone or tablet. Many of us Androidians are pretty happy about this. I don't know about you guys, but Chrome is my default browser on my desktop, so I love it. It's the best. So now it's available on my phone. I got a Beta ICS on my G2, and I must say, my porn looks pretty good on it. So if you're rocking some ICS on your device, check in the market. Chrome Beta is there for you to download and to replace your default browser with. All right, the Cyanogen mod team has given us an update on the progress of CM9. Yeah, come on guys, step to it. I'm just kidding. Those guys are way smarter than me. That's not what my mom says though. But it can't be that hard, right? Well, not exactly. The Cyanogen mod team wrote a nice little love letter to us on their blog page, giving us a progress update on CM9 and basically telling everybody the complexities of ICS and how it's such a huge step from Gingerbread. Which is very true, the OS is a huge overhaul. So they're having some issues like with the drivers and all that fun stuff. But don't worry, the boys are smart, the boys love us. And we'll be blessed with CM9 on our devices sometime soon. And then we can all run around naked and get drunk. At least I will be. Sad day for serious Android geeks who are looking to get a Galaxy Note. Qualcomm tweeted the other day that the Galaxy Note will be running a Snapdragon processor. Yeah, so? Well, a lot of people were hoping it was going to be the XY Nose. I don't know if I'm saying that right. X Winos. Like I said, I'm terrible with names, and I should probably verify these names before I do the show. But I just wing it. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, they were hoping it was gonna be that processor, but it was gonna be a Snapdragon. A lot of people are thinking, well, who gives a sh? Well, it turns out Snapdragon is just a little bit slower. Check out the links below for the full article and the benchmark test between the two processors, and you can see what I'm talking about. Anybody catch the Galaxy Note commercial during the Super Bowl? What a way to bring back an annoying yet awesome song. I believe in a thing called love. Just the same rhythm of my heart. Is the iPhone a blessing or a curse to carriers? Let's bend over, bitches, and find out. Yeah, it turns out the iPhone might just be a little curse, at least in Sprint's case. Quarter 4 Sprint had a net loss of $1.3 billion. Ouch. Check down our links below for the full article and details on this. Pretty crazy stuff. In your face, iPhonies. <laughs> Galaxy Nexus coming to T-Mobile? Yeah, my pants just got tighter. The other day, skateboard legend Tony Hawk tweeted that he loves T-Mobile with this picture right here. All right, as you can see, this is some good old ice cream sandwich on some kind of phone. Could this be a Galaxy Nexus on T-Mobile? Does Tony Hawk have like some kind of crazy hookup? What's so special about him, huh? Anybody could do a 900. Okay. So either Tony Hawk has hacked the crap out of some phone, which is awesome, or yes, he is rocking a Galaxy Nexus on T-Mobile. I was a good skateboarder at one point in my life. Burp. All right, ICS nice updates this week. Looks like HTC is going to be dispersing some good old ice cream sandwich to many of their phones. Anyone running any version of the Sensation is in the regular Sensation, Sensation 4G, Sensation XL, and Sensation XE. Well, how about a burning Sensation? Well, it looks like HTC will also be updating these phones right here for you. So if you're rocking in these phones on the list right here, expect an ICS update sometime next month. So yeah, it looks like March is going to be a good month for HTC users. I hope so. The Verizon LTE Zoom is getting a nice little update, but it's not ICS. Well, that's a boner killer. Yeah, it turns out it's not an ice cream sandwich, but it is fixing a couple of bugs that have been plaguing the Zoom. So if you're rocking this device, there is an update for you. Check down in the links below for the article for more details and squash those bugs. Speaking of getting some bugs squashed or fixed, the Seuss Transformer Prime is getting a nice little bug squashing update. This update also includes a new kernel, an updated Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. Check down in the links below for all those articles and details and give me your Transformer Prime. Seriously, come on. I'll review it on the show and say your name. You'll be famous to thousands of people, mainly nerds. Android nerds, though. The best kind. I'm gonna stop talking now. Transition. All right, Droid Razor users get a nice little rooting tool that you can put on your desktop. Yay, Droid Razor. Yeah, this is thanks to XD member this guy. So check down the links below for the article and link to get this on your desktop. All right, games this week. Angry Birds turns two years old. Yay! Hey, guys, I missed you. 
Angry Birds turned two years old for us this week. And to celebrate their birthday this week, they released an update with new levels and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you haven't updated your Angry Birds, go to the market right now and update that shiz. Hey, where'd you guys go? Come on, I wanted a party with you guys. Okay. Got a little scared right there because every time I hear that noise, one of those damn little birds ends up hitting me in the head. Another game that's available on the market this week, Real Soccer by Gameloft. It is available for free on the market, and even though soccer sucks, it's free, go play it. Nothing wrong with that. Football. All right, app of the week this week, and well, speaking of Gameloft, Gameloft Live is now available in the market for you to download. With Gameloft Live, you can create your own avatar, track your gaming progression, and see how you measure up to other players. So go on the market and download it for free, and bring it, bitches. Let's play some games. All right, from app of the week, we'll go to tweak of the week. Mr. B-Boy has decided to theme out your Gmail and your Google+. Now, let's face it, I'm not a fan of the whole white background theme for, you know, certain apps. Always a fan of the black. That sounds kind of racist in a weird way. Yeah, well, B-Boy has done that to your Gmail and your Google+. As well as mixed in that nice little ICS blue within the theme. Ah, yes, ICS blue with that black background mix is just like me and Kristen Bell in my wet dreams. So check down the links below for the article in the Roots Wiki link and get a little darkness on your phone. And Kristen, if you're watching, what I said was true. I believe in a thing called love, just the center of my heart. All right, another tweet to check out this week, an ADW thing called Big DX Slick. Did I finally say that right after 10 takes? And an Android Pro widget thing called Modern ICS Inverted. It's a little ICS with some cherry sauce on it. Good things, check down the links below for those. Also, other articles to check out is the review for the Zebu Soho Extreme. Oh yeah, and T-Mobile's giving away some free phones for Valentine's Day. Yes, that Hallmark Day is upon us, guys. Yes, Valentine's Day is that day where guys have to try to be romantic even though they're not. Yeah, they try and you ladies end up just getting some flowers, candy, and get taken to Sizzler because he didn't make reservations at a classy joint. Been there, done that. Well, anyways, guys, if you wanna get a free phone for your lady, just don't tell her. <laughs> and make sure she doesn't watch the show. Check that article down below and see which phones are free. A lot of the newer ones, of course, and surprise your lady on Valentine's Day with a free Android device. Well, like I said, don't tell her it's free. Tell her you spent like half the paycheck on it. <laughs> she might appreciate it. Well, all right, guys, that was all the news this week. This is usually the time where I reach into the Mandroid mailbag, but I did not get any questions this week. Another thing I wanted to start doing was if you, instead of emailing me a question, just leave a comment down below with a question. I'll try to do my best on answering it. Maybe if we start getting a lot of questions in the comments or with the email, I'll just choose one out of each. So I'll just answer two questions per show. So yeah, if you have a question about something, leave a comment down below in the balls area or email me at themandroidshow at androidspin.com and I will do my best to answer it on next week's show. Some of you are probably wondering if I'm gonna bring back Hot Nerdy Girl of the Week. Yes, I do plan on doing that. I'm just trying to figure stuff out too. I actually got a question for you guys as well. Would you rather see this show split up in three different shows throughout the week or do you like this whole 13, 14 minute show every Friday? Let me know in the comments down below. Because we're thinking about doing multiple shows during the week, like, you know, Monday, Wednesday, and then Friday. So let me know what you guys think, if you guys would prefer that. So that way it'll be shorter videos, and it's not a big, huge cluster f at the end of the week for me. I'm a little diva, aren't I? Well, anyways, I appreciate you guys clicking in once again. Make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel. Follow me on Twitter. And I'm soon going to have a Facebook fan page and a G Plus page with the Mandroid show and everything like that. So I'll let you know when those are up, and you can hopefully like me and follow it. And I'll try my best to say some stupid crap all the time. That's now, just follow me on Twitter and uh, check out my other channel where I'm starting to try to do vlogs when I have the time. When I'm not playing with my phone and playing with myself. Whoa. I mean watching porn. I mean writing articles for AndroidSpin.com. Make sure you hit that like thumbs up button. Show love the like like I always say. Well anyways, Android friends, I love you. I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com and this has been the Mandroid Show. So who wants to be my valentine? Wow, really, crickets? That's just sad. Welcome to the weekly show with Andrew Spin. I'm Flash and I create icons. I've made half a million icons for your phone to make it nicer, better, more awesome. You have no idea. If you haven't picked up my app right now, you're insane. <laughs>